going on YouTube? Uh, this is my Statesville, North Carolina Comic Con Hall 2017. So enjoy. Now you probably haven't heard of this Comic Con. It's in Statesville, North Carolina. If you want to look up where that is. Uh, it's about like three or four hours from my house. So it's not that far. Um, but I just kind of wanted to do a haul video on everything I got. Uh, I didn't get a tremendous amount of stuff, but I did get some pretty cool stuff. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so the first thing I want to show is, if for the first 100 people that were there, you get a, well, swag bag. Um, there was nothing really good in it. It was just like a bunch of coupons for local, like, places around there. So, I mean, I guess that's cool. But it was like nothing great except for this it's a stageville comic con uh little pin and by the way i'm using my iphone 6 camera which kind of sucks if you see like purple flickering on the screen at any point because my camera uh on my phone is broken but this is really cool uh it's the only you know really good part of the swag bag uh, i do have a light on the back there but it's just kind of out of view but you can see that so thought that was pretty cool um, to start off the haul so I guess I'll go from like some random stuff to the like more high-end stuff I guess so uh, here's something random it was on a table there uh, I'm a big Rocky fan uh, the movies, anyway. And the first Rocky is one of my favorite movies of all time. So I saw this Ivan Drago figure for uh, two bucks. And I'm like, hell yeah, I'll take an Ivan Drago figure for two dollars. Put it on display somewhere. It's not focusing very well. Sorry about that. I'm gonna... Mm, is that too bright? I'm trying to figure out its light. Oh, that works. Yeah. So anyway, the Ivan Drago figure, pretty, uh, pretty cool. Uh, I'm just going to put it on my shelf or something, but yeah, two dollars, why not? Uh, and then the next thing, I have no clue why I got it at all. It was four dollars, well it's a bunch of it's, and I was thinking like, oh, four dollars is not a, a bad price. Uh... It is Batman Forever trading cards, like metal cards. So it's like a big stack. I think it's the entire, they're not actual metal, but they're called metal. I think it's the entire set. Uh, there's like a set checklist there, but it's all of these for four bucks. And I want to get a binder for these, but I said, you know, why not? Four dollars in that Comic Con buy random stuff for some reason that's what i was planning on doing and i did i had no reason getting this these but you know what i'm happy i bought them and i think my camera just like lagged out and think cameras could do that uh so yeah they don't all fit in this so i'm not gonna worry about that right now Um, okay, so next there was this little booth with, um, it had metal bookmarks, um, metal, like, postcard shaped pictures and metal, like, actual signs or pictures on the wall. So I got two bookmarks, uh, I got this spawn bookmark, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but you can see that it's spawn, maybe if I put it in light more. Yeah, I don't know. No, it's not working. Uh, because it's metal. There, you can, you can see. And, uh, these are really cool. They're high quality. The picture is really good. It's not blurry at all. And I needed a good bookmark. And I also got, if I can pick it up, it's Harley Quinn one. Because, why the hell not? And, uh, these were $5 each. But if you buy, or no, four dollars each. But if you bought two, it's uh, two for seven. 
and then three for ten. So I got two because these were the only two I saw that I liked. However, if I ever go to a another Comic Con in the future, I'm gonna get more of these. So those are really cool, and I needed bookmarks, so why not? Um, and then at this uh, one guy, he had a bunch of original artwork and stuff. And I actually need to take this out of a picture frame because I framed it. Um, he was explaining like, you know, basis of his comic that he made and stuff. And he also had this, uh, a bunch of these postcards for uh, $5. It's a watercolored postcard. And this is Batman, obviously. And uh, the first thing I saw, like in this, was that it looked like the Dark Knight Returns Batman. From like you know when he has the first like blue suit minus the yellow around the bat which i kind of see lines around it maybe he was gonna do the yellow like right there a little bit but i don't think so but this is really cool here's all the uh info and such um yeah, there's his Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I can't make that out. I actually tried to follow him. But it's by uh, Ryan Scheffler. Or Chef. And 2016. 16, meaning 2016, I'm going to assume. And uh, yeah, this is what he was talking about. Check out my original comic strip, Jeff the Yeti. At www. Uh, the uh, the slash variant dot com, which I'm actually gonna check that out. And it says cheers with that, what looks like salt. I don't I don't know. It looks like salt, but it's a watercolor brush. And I bought a frame for it. So yeah, I'm just gonna quickly put the frame back on it. I had it on my uh, stand with all my graphic novels, but it looks really cool, and I'm really happy to support an upcoming, you know, great artist and writer. I think he said he did both the writing and the art for the Jeff the Yeti. So yeah, totally check that out. It's, uh, you know, pretty cool. Alright, uh, we're going to do the graphic novels next. So I'll start off with this one. Uh, it's not that exciting. It's nothing different. But for me, it's pretty exciting because I didn't have it. Uh, oh, shoot. It doesn't fit the frame. Infinite Crisis. I'm going to do this. Just show you it real quick. You probably know what Infinite Crisis looks like. But yeah, so... I picked up Infinite Crisis for a whopping five dollars. Yep, I got this book for five dollars. Um, so there was a bunch of like long boxes and short boxes with books in them, and usually at the end of like the row of boxes, there would be a box with like the trade paperbacks and such. Yeah, mostly just trade paperbacks, some hardcovers. But um, so I was looking through that box, and there was a lot of just like junky stuff that I really didn't care about and then I pulled out Infinite Crisis and it was a five dollar box and this is a pretty much brand new copy of Infinite Crisis I bet I mean it doesn't have an overstock mark on it but I bet it's overstocked so really happy to have this um, a few months ago I bought the prelude to Infinite Crisis so now I actually have Infinite Crisis and I didn't have to pay like fifteen dollars on Amazon for it, um, which is how much I was planning on paying for it eventually. All right, next one, we have a image book from. And these are all graphic novels. I didn't get any back issues or anything. From nineteen ninety three. Uh, this is the Savage Dragon, which you also can't see. Once again, here it is by Eric Larson. I'm seeing this from 1993. Uh, this was at another booth for five dollars, and um, I've been wanting to read Savage Dragon for 
a little while now. Uh, I like 90s image stuff. Uh, Spawn being one of my favorite characters of all time. I mean, I showed you the bookmark. Oh, you know what I don't have here? Have here. I got a little Lego figure of Spawn because it was like four dollars. And uh, yeah, it's like a knockoff, but I don't care. It was cool. But that was four dollars. Just look it up online. But anyway, um, yeah, so this is another 90s, like, original image character. I didn't show you the inside of Infinite Crisis, but I hope that's okay. Um, I really like the art in this book. It looks pretty cool. I don't know anything about Savage Dragon. I think he's like a cop or something. And, uh, oh yeah, he's got a badge, so I'm going to assume he's a cop. I looked up some stuff about him a while ago, but happy to get this. Gonna read this soon. Okay, and speaking of Spawn, um, this next one is a skinny little thing. It was ten dollars. Uh, it was something that I've wanted to get for a while now, and um, it's by Frank Miller and Todd McFarlane. And this is, oh, this is so awesome, Spawn Batman. Yeah, this is a book I've really wanted to get for a while. Another 90s image book. And this was printed in 1994. That's when this was made. And uh, it's very thin. It's a very, very thin book. Um, yeah, so barely can notice it on my shelf but it's uh it was ten dollars which is a little less than i've seen online i mean i've seen it for ten dollars online but usually a shipping with it so i am very happy i can get this very happy and um yeah i'm gonna read this soon because especially since it's very thin it won't take a while to read and the last graphic novel that I got, this is a hardcover actually, it was $15. Uh, this was printed in 1998. And that is, oh, by the way, I didn't mention Batman's my favorite character of all time, so Spawn Batman, you know, kind of obvious for me to get. But this is the greatest Joker stories ever told. It is a hardcover book. And, uh, printed in 1998. I have never seen this before, actually. And this is a tissue box. Uh, never seen this before in anybody else's collection. Uh, the other stuff I've seen before, well, except for the Savage Dragon book. I don't really know what that is, even. Um, but this pretty much is exactly what it says. Uh, what does it say? Celebration of last laughs and deadly crimes as written and drawn by many of the greatest writers and artists to ever grace the comic art medium. Uh, the companion volume to the greatest Batman stories of all time. I should probably get that too. But uh, this isn't like that leather Frank Miller book either. Pull off the dust jacket. There we go. Greatest Joker stories of all time. It's a very unique color too. What it is bunch of Joker stories ranging from stories from 1940 to 1980. He's got Batman issue 1 in there. It's the first one, which was obviously when Batman got his own title. Uh, and then a bunch of other stuff. And more stuff all the way to March 1980, which is Dreadful Birthday, Dear Joker. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, lots of, this is, I think Batman issue one, yeah. Um, or maybe, I don't know. Lots of old Batman comics, really love Batman. Huge Batman fan. So this is just so awesome. Um, I'm not too into Golden Age and Silver Age. Uh, I like Bronze Age, but I'm more, yeah, I like Bronze Age, pretty much, and newer Batman stuff, like the 80s and up is good for me, some 70s stuff too, 
Anything beyond that, though, you usually can't get through. So we'll see about this one. Uh, I'm going to put the dust jacket on this real quick. And now I'll show you the prints that I got. Which I'm going to need to stand up and uh, show you those. Alright, let me get them real quick. They're right here. So, put these down. Let me move my cell phone. My tissue box. I got three different prints. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. If I raise this, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so, first one is this awesome, awesome Rorschach. Which is $5. It's going to go right above my graphic novel shelf. That's my feet. And, uh, yeah, it looks really awesome. We got, you know, Night Owl 2 right there. Can't tell what that one is. Looks like a dead guy or something. On the other side, we've got... This was also five dollars. This Harley Quinn, uh, New Fifty Two Harley, and uh, it's kind of funny. I was saying, I'm like, oh, it's Harley on a Harley. Yeah, looking uh, pretty good right there. I don't know where that one's gonna go yet. And then you already saw this one. It's another Spawn thing. Wow. You haven't seen any spawn stuff yet, so it's a spawn print that's going to go right next to Rorschach on the shelf. This one's in his health loader. This one was also $10. And, um, yeah, I really, really like it. Um, just... Look at that seamless transition right there. Seamless, right? That's a word I use. Not really. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that's it. That's my haul from Statesville Comic Con. It wasn't that big, but it was, you know, a pretty nice sized um, Comic Con. It was pretty small. It was like one room, and uh, there was a hundred vendors. So I probably went to every vendor and looked at their stuff like five times. It was from 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock. 10 in the morning to 5 at night. And we stayed, we went there at like, mm, or it might have been 11 to 5, I don't know. Yeah, I think, it, no, 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 10, 10 to 5, I don't know. Well, we went a half hour. No, no, no. Yeah, a half hour before it opened, and we weren't first in line, but we were one of the first hundred people, and we got the swag bag, and there was nothing really that great in it. Um, that's it, really. Uh, I didn't get that many pictures, uh, nothing worth showing, and I couldn't get the courage up to take a, uh, a picture with Harley, but that's okay. Uh, I did get a picture with a Stormtrooper from Rogue One. That new Stormtrooper suit. I don't know what it's called. Or if there's a special name for him. But I did get a uh, picture with the Stormtrooper. And then a few pictures of the con. Um, there's another con somewhere. I forget where it is. In March. So I'll be going there. And I'll get a haul there too. Uh, it won't be as big because my mom helped pay for a lot of this stuff. I paid for most of it, but she did give me probably like $30. So, um, it was like $5 admission. She paid for that. Uh, yeah, it was pretty cheap to get in. So anyway, that's it for the haul. Wow, it's almost 20 minutes long. Jeez. And you could have watched the entire clock go up. Wait. 923. Uh, yeah, I'm, this is my table where, like, my TV is. Xbox One. These are some $2 bills. 360. Controllers. Controller. This is my Suicide Squad drink cup from 
when I saw the movie. Opening night. No, this is, it was the night after opening night. It was August 6th, I know that. That's like, because they had it for like, I think it started at 10 o'clock August 5th. Which was a Thursday night, and it was a school night, so I couldn't do that. But, um, yeah, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And, yeah, that that's it. And my camera didn't crap out on me. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Like the video if you like the haul. Um, I'm going to link the Facebook of the Statesville Comic Con in the description. So check that out and i'll see you guys later peace out